Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. Take it off my headset here, because I don't need that. But, alright, so someone asked me, how do you use a Dazzle card? Because they're potentially going to use it. Now, first things first. Now, I don't have these on me on hand, but if you do not have an output for your TV, like I, for instance, have a Vizio HD uh, TV here, so I'm actually kind of in the safe. And plus the com the uh, compose ca the com eh, composition, whatever the fuck you call them, the um, the cables for the Xbox 360 I have, which are not HDMI, have the three and top of the HD HD or I call them high quality ish style cords extra to them, so I don't need those three initial sound you know in video uh, components so I will not need those to plug into the TV but I could plug them into this you'll you'll all see in a second here okay so as you can see right there those are plugged into my TV through the so take note I'm not using though these initially right now with my TV. However, you're going to notice something as soon as I turn this on. But anyway, I set the cord or the plug or the AV as you want to call it cord to standard definition, which is the what they dazzle record in. Unless of course you have an HDMI style recorder, that's a whole different ball game. Have fun with that. Um, this is going to be standard definition quality. It's not going to be fantastic quality, but it's going to be decent enough. So, alright, so what you're going to want to do is obviously, I'm going to set this up right here. This process is mind-numbingly easy. So, we're going to want to load up the program first while we're doing this. That way we can kill two birds with one stone. I use Pinnacle Studio 11, which in that case you do not really need the DVD recorder software that comes with the, the device. It's nice to have, but this installs drivers itself when you plug it in. Because if you have like a Pinnacle program on your computer, you won't need to do anything. This is going to be good to go right off the bat. It's going to see it, it's going to detect everything and be like, just like that. No problems. I have not had a problem yet. My computer does, however, kind of go, whoo, slows down a little bit due to the fact that I'm overworking it, practically, because I got all kinds of applications running at once. It's not a good thing. But, all right. So, now what you're going to want to do is you get your three cords here. And, of course, this does work for older consoles as well, but I'll do a different video for that after. Okay, so... Obviously, you're going to want to plug the video into video, and plug the white and red, oops, wrong one, into your Dazzle. And you can see right there, bam. Okay, so those are plugged in, everything's good to go, practically. Place that down, place that anywhere you know that's not going to drop anywhere. Next step is you want to turn on your console. So, be very patient. You notice you will not hear any sound. That's going to worry you. I know. But, alright. Next thing you're going to notice is that is plugged into my Dazzle. But, as you notice right here, it's plugged into my TV as well. Because the HD components for this are plugged, still plugged in, and that's the source it can use for video. So, now I want to want to go into... There we go. As you can see right there, Blood Bowl, blah blah blah. Cannot hear a damn thing from sound at all. If you do want to use sound... What you got to do is obviously plug those into your TV. 
you can do that and just leave this alone. You don't need this ever if you have this set up to HD mode. So you don't initially need that at all. Just plug those into your TV if you want to hit the sound while you're playing the game. The quality, however, is going to be very grainy. It's going to be kind of cut off a little bit. But in the video, it's going to look fine. It's going to look good. So as you can see right there on the TV, it is right there on my Pinnacle program. So, see if I have any. Yep, I got some footage happened to have right here. So, I'll let you guys see a little bit of it. You won't hear any sound, so. And start off that clip. As you can see right there, it recorded everything. If you can even hear that at all. That's the visual quality you see. Now it's a little bit cloudy. It's a tiny bit cloudy. You could kind of fix that with some of the video editing. But as you can see right here, it just recorded off my Nintendo Wii. But the only downside of this was... The quality was, you know, very, I was playing off a literally a very tiny screen because I don't have the um, multi-system converter I'd like to have for my Wii, my 360, which I'm probably going to invest in that at some point in the future. So I can actually have a very good looking console. You can also notice too, like those little lines you see on the recording. You'll see these little lines, you'll notice it. But... That's fine. People complain about that. They need to get over it. At least you're put the effort into buying this product. Um, I would, would highly recommend this if you own the Pinnacle any Pinnacle product at all, because I'm happy with it. You know, it's not. I got no no regrets for buying it really, because I do own Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 11. I actually bought this. I didn't bootleg it. So. If you have that program, you want to record your video games or DVDs or whatever, you can do it off here. So, other than that, guys, I hope you were satisfied with this, and, well, I'll post up more videos soon. Take it easy, folks.